Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions, and today I want to talk about Terraformers. This game comes out April 21st, 2022. It was developed by Asteroid Lab and published by Goblins Publishing and Indie Arc. I want to thank them for their review copy, however all thoughts will be my own. I want to answer a couple of questions. First of all, what is Terraformers? How does it play? And lastly, is it worth your time and money? So this game launches in early access, and here's a couple of tags here. Strategy base building resource management colony simulator and rogue lights yes you heard right rogue lights and that's what i really like about this game so i play this game for a couple of hours now and i really i think i really do recommend it it's a uh, single player only it has steam cloud and if you want it's like ten dollars more for a supporter pack which gives you some digital art books um, some alternate um costume for a leader when the game actually comes out i don't know if i mentioned this yet it's gonna be twenty dollars us on steam only no um you know joypad stuff it's only keyboard and mouse so in this game you take control of one leader that you control for a couple of rounds then you switch out to another leader but basically the whole goal of the game is you just started you landed on mars you know you got a bunch of gifts from earth to get you going and the whole goal is to make sure your people are happy otherwise it's game over and you have to expand 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 and at the very end you have to make sure mars is habitable so how does that work to get more technical you start with a uh, leader and all the leaders can do a couple of different things. They can give you the option to expand, which is like look around on the map and chart out where you're going to be going next. And then they also have different types of specific abilities. Like some are much better at mining, some, you know, like to keep the people happy and so on. So a lot of the leaders, it's random every single time you pick them and throughout the run, you're going to be doing different ones. You play with like one leader every 10 turns and then you like switch them out and stuff. So here's how it goes. You're going to be putting down a habitat in a city and within the city you're going to be uh, researching different cards these cards cost resources it's a lot different there's a lot of different ones like food energy water uh, titanium and all that good stuff and to way to get more materials and so on is every single turn it plays like a board game like a single player like if you guys play civilization and stuff it's kind of like that where you want to set up buildings to provide you resources and then you know you slowly increase your you, you know your repertoire of accessible resources as you go along so you get cards every single turn you get a random assortment of cards that you pick from and you can hold it into your hand you can have a couple of cards at a time and it tells you exactly what it does when you build it how much it costs and then you go on and build there so for example in your main building maybe you want to put an entertainment district next to the city because there are cards that combo if they are adjacent to one another so hey you get more support each turn or maybe you don't want to build a specific power factory next to a town otherwise you're going to be less happy so the whole goal is to try to expand and it costs resources so to expand to build mines it costs resources 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 but as you expand you gain resources back so it's up to you to find a really good balance of i want to expand but i want to keep people happy because if they if they game over and the only way to game over in this right now is there is a specific sort of happiness you know happiness number you start very high up uh at like, like a, at 100 and they only take like one to two to three per turn but everything you do affects that so there is an upkeep so maybe you are making them unhappy by making them work really really far away um for, you know from the starting town so then you lose happiness etc so the expectation goes up gradually but by what you do and just over time so it's a race against time so you have to try to keep them happy and also doing the other stuff but also you have to make the planet habitable too so later on you're going to be doing a lot more complicated buildings like doing uh, space buildings which requires you to do trade routes and resources so you better have a lot of resources ready you better have trade routes ready because you have to do a lot of these stuff quick easy and fast and you want to build an atmosphere you want to spread bacteria you want to build oceans you want to get animals living on here there's a lot here but the, the good part about it is it's all turn-based you know you can take your time and by looking at the screenshots it doesn't look it doesn't look fancy i will admit you know you're seeing a planet and you you see like rolling around the planet looking at different things and but you know i guess the best visuals is actually when you go into the buildings uh go into the towns themselves you can place your buildings etc um it's like a gigantic puzzle against time but what's really cool about this is it makes it gives you a lot of choices uh it's random and i don't know some people might not like the roguelite aspect here like oh the whole game's rng man i got really screwed over because i didn't get the right cards i need or i tried to expand to the east but didn't have the resources i need i think that is definitely part of this game's fun and the you know part of its charm if you just tag roguelike on it and tell people hey you might go in you might die we gotta restart 
that's completely fine i'm still in the middle of a run now and it's been going on for plus two hours so runs do take a long time but my god it's like it's like tension but slow tension you know what i mean it's like oh wow i really gotta make this work i you know and then once you lose you're gonna be learning from your mistakes okay okay i i will adapt on the fly but generally maybe i want more power if i'm gonna go this route and oh my god i got the leader that gives me drones for free so we can expand quicker i gotta make use of this right away so so many different opportunities are thrown at you all the time lots of different choices like which research do i get which way do i go what buildings do i place where do i place them the trade route you know you are free to choose hey i want to give you know earth more water um, but i want food in return so this game is like highly highly replayable little i do have to say that and this is why i really like about this i said that again but this game i i adore it i really do it's an early access and i'm not sure what else they're going to be adding to the game because it seems like a pretty uh, complete-ish experience right now i guess what they can add is just way more different types of planets and maybe in the future because it just literally says terraformers maybe there could be another planet i don't know who knows i mean in the uh the steam description it says red planet so you know who knows but yeah I do have to say, for the money, $20, this is super worth it. This is a really good game. So, guys, check out Terraformers. I'll be leaving you with a couple of minutes of me playing. I don't know what part I'll put in, but just, just to give you a little bit of an idea of how it's going. And if, you are, if, if you're interested, I'm uploading the playthrough on my Let's Play channel. Link down below. And I'll most likely be streaming it because it's a fun game. So, once again, everything in the description. If you guys have any questions, comments down below, I'll try to answer it. But, yeah, check this game out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm assuming like if this, yeah, you can do that. Perfect. Habitation. What's this? Cured in lab. I'm going to sit and build this now. Could always move it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Habitational from the natural site. Plus three support. <laughs> the natural site, dude. Adjacent population. Natural support. Jesus Christ. We should probably be moving all of this over here instead, now that I think about it, huh? Because the natural site like this needs to go here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll move it. We'll move it again later. Okay, so this needs to be all seen here. So, pow. Pow. This is a mine for some, uh, some of that. This is ready. Look at this. Some silicates. Blop, blop. Uh... Where's the city at? Where's that new city? Am I crazy? I thought there was a city here. Wait, wait, wait. Did I, did I get that wrong? Wasn't there a city south of New London? Huh? I thought there was a city here. I clicked on it. Hold on. I know there's this one. I thought there was one. I thought there was one. Guided tours plus five. Ooh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Maybe one of these is it. We'll see. I can build another drone hub. <laughs> I really thought there was a city there. This is probably one of the best cities to get next, though. I think we'll work towards that way. Bring. See, now we got five powers coming in per turn. That's really good. Uh, but we got to move the stuff around in our in our area, huh? Okay. Uh, I guess we end our turn. How's this doing? Sabishi. Uh, oxygen. Atmosphere. Titanium per. Produces one titanium per climate. This, uh, get this. Wow, what are these? Landing pad for another trade route. Mm, that's pretty interesting. Uh, pre composing facilities, one nitrate per depopulation. 30 ocean. 30 ocean. 30 ocean. Cost titanium tritium. Give us a landing pad. I need more trade routes. Produces. Uh, okay, so we're just waiting still. We got five more power. Five more power. All right, what do we want? Should I just build one of these? This one. Mining for water. All right, I need this one. This requires a uh, titanium. Titanium. 
So we are already getting titanium. Not a lot. We'll figure it out, I guess. Is that it? Another turn over? Turn 25.